Deputy Chief Humphrey also praised the 911 call takers and dispatchers. He said they did a great job of getting information to officers and coordinating help and resources. And visitation for one of the victims, Tommy Elliott, is tomorrow. The family announcing that visitation and funeral service are open to the public. That visitation is from 2 until 7 p.m. tomorrow at Pearson Funeral Home on Breckenridge Lane. The funeral service is Friday. That's 3 p.m. at Broadway Baptist Church. The family says the burial service will be private. Visitations for two other victims are Friday afternoon and another on Sunday. The visitations for Josh Barrick and Deanna Eckert are Friday and Eckert's funeral will follow her visitation. A funeral mass for Barrick is set for Saturday. Jim Tut's family will hold visitation on Sunday. His funeral will follow for locations and times. Just go to our website, WDRB.com. Funeral arrangements have not yet been announced for Juliana Farmer. One organization is making sure people dealing with grief this week are getting the help that they need. First Hour Grief Response is opening its doors to anyone who has been affected by this tragedy. Fees are waived for people directly impacted, like friends and families of victims, survivors, and first responders. There will be counselors at churches across Louisville as well to provide services. It's really what our heart's about is trying to help people navigate it because this is a journey. This doesn't go away. Um, this is something that you learn to live with. It's something that changes over time. If you need help, here is the number for first hour grief response. You see it there on your screen. It's 502-791-9938.